<clears throat> Good morning, boys and girls. Let's get ready for, <coughs> excuse me, Saxon Phonics Lesson 68. The materials you're going to need for today's lesson are a worksheet 68 and a pencil. The standards for today's lesson say that the student will demonstrate understanding of spoken words, syllables, and sounds. The student will distinguish long from short vowel sounds in spoken single syllable words. The student will orally produce single syllable words by blending sounds, including consonant blends. The student will isolate and produce initial, medial vowel, and final sounds in spoken single syllable words. And lastly, the student will segment spoken single syllable words into their complete sequence of individual sounds. Our essential question says, how do I orally produce single syllable words by blending sounds, including consonant blends? What that means is, how do I make um, one syllable words by blending, putting together the sounds, including using the consonant blends? All there is to it. Okay, let's go over our rules really quickly before we get started. Repeat after me. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Coat it with a brief. An open accented vowel is long. Coat it with a macron. This chart shows us how to code a VCCB word by labeling the vowels and the consonants in between the two vowels and then divide it between the two consonants and then code each syllable. Repeat after me. A vowel followed by a consonant and sneaky E he is long. Code the vowel with a macron and mark out the sneaky E. A digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. When we're spelling with the k sound, we use K if it comes before E, I, or Y. We use C if it comes before A, O, U, or any consonant. All right, when we're spelling k at the end of a word, we use digraph CK if it comes after a short vowel. We use plain old K if it comes after a consonant or a vowel digraph. We use KE if it comes after a long vowel. And we use plain old C if it comes at the end of a word that has two or more syllables. When we're spelling a word that has V sound at the end, we spell it with VE because most English words do not end with just the letter V. The floss rule says, when a one-syllable root word has a short vowel sound followed by the sound f, l, or s, we use ff, ll, or ss. And I think, yep, that was it. Okay. Um, now we're going to alphabetize some words. We'll do that before we do our next. Okay. Now, we have a list of words got a little line beside each one. Let's count how many words we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've numbered down to six here. I started with one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the first letter of each word as our guide letter. So I'm going to underline the letter that we're looking at. P, L, M, B, K, so, what we're going to do is say the letters of the alphabet. When we come to um, the first one, we're going to put a number one beside it. The first, um, see, well, let's, let's just start by saying the alphabet. A. Do we have a word that starts with A? No, we don't. So, what comes after A? B. Let's look. Do we have one that starts with B? Yes, we do. So, that's going to be our number one. That would be first in our list. We'll put a one right there. All right, what comes after B? C. Do we have a word that starts with C? No. What comes after C? D. Do we have a word that begins with D? Quickly scan to see if we do. No, we don't. What about the next letter? E. No. What comes after E? F. Do we have one that starts with F? Yes, we do. So that's the next number. It's 
going to be the second one in our list. All right, what comes after F? G. Is there a word that starts with G? No. H. I. J. K. Yes, we have one that starts with K. So that one's going to be next. Oops. All right, what comes after K? L. We have one that starts with L, so that's going to be number four. What comes after L? M. We have one that starts with M. So we're going to do this one. All right, and then we only have one left. So after M comes N, O, P. So then this one's going to be number six. Okay, now we have put our words in A, B, C order. So what I could do now is, let me come over here to the computer, and I'll just make a box over here and type them in the right order. Number one is boggle. Number two is fiddle. Number three is kettle. Number four is little. Number five is middle. And number six is puddle. Okay? So, we put them, we just put a number by them so that we would know how to put them in ABC order. So now I just retyped it. And now this one would be first, then this one down the list. So that's how we have put our um, words in ABC order or alphabetical order. Okay, echo, snag. What's the final sound in snag? G. All right, say snag but change g to k. What's the word? Snack. We change the g so now instead of snag, we have snack. Okay? Uh, echo, tree. What's the final sound in tree? E. All right, change the E to U. What's your new word now? True. True. Okay? Frame. Echo, frame. What's the final sound in frame? Hmm. Change the m to l. What have you got? Frail. Frail. Echo slick. What's the final sound? K. Change k to p. What have you got? Slip. Okay, echo real. Real. The final sound is what? L. Change L to D. What do you have? Read. Okay? Echo. Bass. What's the final sound in bass? S. Change S to G. What have you got? Bag. And the last one. Echo. Voice. What's the final sound? S. Change to d. What have you got? Void. Okay, good job. All right, now let's do our decks. We split it into two piles because it's a lot. Okay, um, we'll start with the letter cards. Do it with me. Get ready. Trigraph I G H. Combination E R. Vowel Y. Final stable syllable T L E. Final stable syllable G L E. Final stable syllable F L E. Final stable syllable P L E. Final stable syllable D L E. Final stable syllable B L E. V. J. Digraph O O. Digraph S H. Y. X. I consonant E. E consonant E. O consonant E. U consonant E. 
A consonant E. W. U. Digraph E E. Digraph N G. Digraph T H. Digraph C K. E. M. C. K. R. G. H. D. T. P. S. L. O. I. N. Z. A. B. F. Keywords. Light. I. Butter. Er. Bottle. Toll. Bugle. Gull. Ruffle. Full. Staple. Pull. Candle. Dull. Bubble. Bull. Vest. V. Jar. J. Hook. U. Tooth. U. Shark. Sh. Yarn. Y. Fox. X. Wagon. W. Umbrella. U. Unicorn. U. Cube. U. Ring. Ng. Thimble. Th. Feather. V. Fish. F. Elephant. E. Candy. E. Equal. E. Concrete. E. Sheep. E. Monkey. M. Balloon. B. Kite. K. Cat. K. Duck. K. Dog. D. Sun. S. Rose. Z. Zebra. Z. Rabbit. R. Goat. G. Hat. H. Inch. I. Dime. I. Icicle. I. Cry. I. Overall. O. Hose. O. Octopus. Ah. Acorn. A. Cake. A. Apple. A. Tent. T. Nest. N. Pig. P. Lion. L. Suffix S. We add it to a word to make it mean more than one. Suffix ing. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's happening right now. Suffix ed. We add it to a word to make it mean something that's already happened. Suffix y. Suffix less. Suffix ness. Suffix li. All right, sight words. I, come, some, friend, the, said, who, into, do, to, you, your, color, what, from, are, of, there, there, does, goes, been, put, want, was, where, to, done, one, sure, won't, don't, brought, thought, thought, Bought, would, could, should, school, says, give, have, live, they, people, love, move, many, any, other, another, 
brother, mother, only, something, answer. Okay, good job. Now, let's take out our worksheet and we'll do our spelling sound portion of the work. Says d, d. Number six, echo z. What's the spelling response for z? Z comma s. Number seven, echo ah. What's the spelling response for ah? Oh. How about eh? Eh. Spelling response is e. Now here's a tough one. E. What's the spelling response for e? I. And number ten. Ah. Ah. A. All right, number eleven. I want you to spell the word into. Into. All right, it's a sight word. You see that little star right there? That means it's a sight word. Number 11 and number 12 are going to be sight words. So we're really not supposed to sound those out. I'll give you a second to write it. Into. Into. Come into the room. All right, it's I N T O. Into. We could sound out in, but two is, is the part that we can't sound out. Okay, number 12 is a compound word. Something. All right, some. Can't sound it out. Thing. Something. Okay. Now, echo these words and listen for the sound that's the same in each word. Aim. Braid. Train. Again, echo. Aim. Braid. Train. What do you hear that's the same in all these words? Tell your study buddy. A, that's right. All right, here they are. Aim, braid, train. What do you see that might be making the A sound in all these words? It's actually more than one letter. It's A-I. All these words have A-I in them. So we can see that A-I must be the letters used to spell the A sound. Now, A is one sound, but I said it's A-I. So what is that going to be? Two letters that come together to make one sound. What do we call that? It's called a digraph. How do we code a digraph? We underline it. Okay, now, um, is this a vowel digraph or a consonant digraph? It's a vowel digraph. How do you know? Because it makes a vowel sound, A. All right, now, do we hear both of those sounds, both of those letters? No, we do not hear the I. We mark out the I, 
and we hear the long sound, put a macron up there. Mark out my eye and put a macron up there. Okay? We've just coded these words. Aim. Br. Br is a blend. Br. Aid. Braid. Do you know how to braid hair? Tr is a blend. Tr. A. Hmm. Train. Okay? Now, um, let me show you our new letter card. Here we go. Digraph AI. All right, well, I've got a new keyword card. Anytime we get a, a new letter card, we get a keyword card too. All right, so this is a kind of weather. It falls from the sky and it makes puddles in the street. People usually use an umbrella when it is falling. What do you think it might be? Rain A. Okay? Rain A. Digraph A I. Okay? And I have a new sight word. Were. Where were you yesterday? Were. Okay? All right, now let's practice coding some words like we'll have on our worksheet. Okay. Now, remember, whenever we code, we always do this first. We look for a suffix or a final staple syllable. Sometimes both. All right, let's look at this word. Do we have a suffix or a final staple syllable? No, we don't. We have digraph E-E. -E. Mark out the last E. Put a macron over the first E. What's that word? Keep. Keep. All right, now this one has a suffix, because if I cover up I-N-G, I still have the root word. Underline, digraph A-I, mark out the I, put a macron over the A. Now, what's the root word? Rain, rain, in, raining. That means it's happening right now. Now, look what happens if I don't put the I in there. What do I have? I just have ran. So that's why we've got to have that I in there. Okay? Now, this says keep raining. The other day, I thought it was just going to keep on raining right on and on. I'm glad it's not anymore. Okay. Now, let's look at this one. Look for a suffix or a final stable syllable. I see a suffix. Put it in a box. Suffix ness. All right, now we just have to code this part. The root word is a sneaky E word. Mark out the E, put the macron over the O, put a K back on the C. All right, what is it? Close, closeness, okay? This is a sight word, so we just circle it. And then this is um, vowel Y, and it's making the long I sound, so we put a macron over it, sk, I, sky. Closeness to sky. Okay. Next one. All right. I see suffix ly. Okay. Here's a vowel. Here's a vowel. These are consonants. Divide it between the consonants. Put a brief over the u because a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Now this one we can put a schwa there. Because it's going to say, ugh. Suddenly. Suddenly. That means it happened all at once. You weren't expecting it. Suddenly. Okay? The next word. Okay, that's a person's name. We can still code it, though. Now, the apostrophe S makes this word mean something belongs to this person. It is not more than one person. It's just one person. All right, there's a vowel, there's a vowel. Consonant, consonant. Divide between the consonants. A vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a brie. Combination ER. All right, let's sound it out. Hunters. Hunters. All right, now, I heard um, a voiced S because this is voiced, so that means you need a, a voice line through the S. Now, this is a compound word. 
we're going to divide it between the two words and then code this part. A vowel followed by a consonant is short, code it with a breed, underline digraph SH, underline trigraph IGH, mark out the G and the H, put a macron over the I. Now let's read it. Flash light. Flashlight. Hunter's flashlight. See? Who does the flashlight belong to? Hunter. That's what apostrophe S means. It means this belongs to him. Okay. All right. Now, let's go back to our worksheet. Let's spell a few words. Number 13. Now, here's our new uh, keyword rain, and here's our new digraph, digraph AI. We're going to spell some words using digraph AI. So all three of these words are going to have digraph AI in them. Number 13, rain, rain, r, a, n, rain. Remember, if we just had the A in there and not the I, it would be ran. So we've got to have it. Number 14, paint. Paint. Do you like to paint? Let's sound it out. A. N. T. Paint. And number 15, aim. Aim. A, mm, aim. Okay, now the um, the spelling a i for the a sound is not used very often. So we're not going to do we're not going to add digraph a i to our spelling response. Okay. All right. Now let's get ready to code. All right. We don't have a suffix or a final stable syllable, but we do have a digraph. Mark out the I, macron over the A. What's the word? There's a blend. Snail. Snail. And there's a picture of a snail. So we draw a line from the snail to the word. All right, now this one has a uh, suffix. So we have AB in the box. Underline digraph AI. Mark out the I, put a macron over the A. What's that word? Aided. If you aided somebody, you helped them. Aided. All right. Here's another one with a suffix. Put I-N-G in the box because we can see that we still have a root word. Underline digraph A-I. Mark out the I, put a macron over the A. Now we just read it. Com uh, not combination, um, blend, dr, dr, a, n, drain, ing, draining. She is draining the water from the sink. Draining. She's letting out the water. Number 19, look for a suffix or a final stable syllable first. Guess what? We got a suffix. Mark, put it in the box. Underline digraph AI, mark out the I, put a macron over the A. Mailed. 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 We've already done it. I mailed a letter yesterday. Number 20 is a compound word. We divide it between the two words. So we find the end of the first word, draw our line. Then we code each word. Or each part of the word. Underline digraph A I, mark out the I, put a macron over the A. Underline digraph S H, put a breathe over the U because a vowel followed by a consonant is short. Code it with a breathe. Now let's read. A R. Hair. B R is a blend. Br a sh. Brush. Hair brush. Okay? Now. You're going to code these words down here by yourself. Um, two of the words have a suffix, and one has a VCCV pattern. So do that. Do your best. I know you got this. On the back, you're going to read the story two or three times now. 
and then answer the questions. All right, and you know what a good thing to do is? Uh, in the past, up here at school, I would have children read the question and then go up here in the story. Where did I find the answer? And underline wherever that uh, answer was. And then I would put a number one beside it. And then I would read number two. And then I would find the answer up here, underline it, and then put a number two beside it. And then do the same thing for number three. Read the question. Go up here and find the answer because when you get older in, say, the second and third grade, you have to be able to look back in a story and find something. Um, cite your evidence. That means, where did you get that? Where did you find that information? So that's what we need to be able to learn how to do. So that's a good thing for you to begin doing. Go up there in the story, find where the answer is, underline it. Because then you can say, oh, yeah, here, I know I'm right because here's the answer right here. Okay? Now, let's read the words in the box, the high-frequency words. Read with me. Our new sight word, were, air, fail. Oh, both of those have digraph AI. Another sight word, brother, only, answer. Okay? Do this and do your best. Also, don't forget to go to Epic.